Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley here, and today I am going to be showing you how you can measure the amount of time it takes to ping an IP address using Java. So this is a simple tutorial, and there are better ways to do this, but this technique is short, sweet, and doesn't require you to download any extra libraries or using what Java has. So let's get right into it. Firstly, we need to have our address that we want to ping and see if we can reach or not. And then, so that's going to be a string and it's called address www.youtube.com. I trust this website will be up if you're watching this video. And then we do system.out.println, reach address time, address and a thousand. So if you're wondering what this function is, well, we're going to be making it in a moment. The first parameter will be a string, which will be the address we want to ping. And the second one is going to be the maximum time we're going to allow for this reach check to occur. So if we can't reach the address in one second, we, we're going to assume we can't reach it. We're going to be using a value in milliseconds. There are a thousand milliseconds in a second. That's why we've got 1000. So we're going to do public static long, reach address time, string IP, int max time. So this is going to return a long value. A long is a 64-bit integer, basically, to keep things super simple. It just allows for bigger numbers. You might want this. You don't need to have long, but it's fair just in case you're in case you're dealing with really big numbers. It's called reach address time. String IP is the IP address you want to ping. And int max time is basically what's the maximum amount of time we're going to allow for this operation to take place. Inside, we are going to do a try catch statement. So it's going to be try a bunch of code. If something goes wrong, execute what's in the catch statement. Otherwise, and then we can just like carry on as normal. And in the catch, we're going to do system dot print line e, so we can get, so we can see what's going on. Inside the try statement, we are going to do intent address address equals intent address dot get by name ip. So and in that address is basically Java's way of encapsulating an IP. So we're going to be calling this object address and we're going to be giving it a, an IP based on this string that we have here. And after we've made that object, we're going to set up two long variables. Now these should be long. Like if they're ints, you're most likely going to encounter problems. Because what we're basically going to do is to determine how long this reach or ping takes, we are basically going to get the time right before we do the ping. And then once Java's determined we can reach the address, we are then going to get the time, the current time when Java confirms it can reach the address. Then we're going to do a subtraction and then we're going to have how many milliseconds it takes. And system.getCurrentTimeMillies will basically get the current time in milliseconds. And you might be thinking, Max, what does that even mean? Well, basically, it's going to return the difference measured in milliseconds between the current time and midnight of January the 1st, 1970, universal coordinated time. But if you don't want to think about all of that, just think of it as we're getting the current time, and we're going to get the current time after we do what we're doing, and we're going to then compare them to figure out how long it took. After that, we are going to do if address dot is reachable max time. That's going to check if we can reach the address in the maximum amount of time given. Then we do finish time equals system dot current time millis. We're going to record for time literally after we've reached the address. And then we can do return finish time minus start time to get the difference in time. And that's how long it took. You don't actually need to put these in brackets. I just felt like it. Oh, and also underneath the catch, put a return minus one. So basically, since we're returning a number, we still want to return a value if we couldn't reach the address. So if we do minus one, that's not going to interfere with any time because you can't take a negative amount of time to reach something. I guess that could occur if you're time traveling, but when not doing that, and if you're a time traveler, maybe don't watch this tutorial. It might not be useful to you, but we're going to do minus one. You know, it could be minus two. It could be minus 69 if you want to be funny, but we're going to do minus one. Actually, no, let's do minus 69. Why not? We're going to be funny. 
And that's basically it for this tutorial. So what we're going to do is now, we're going to do Control S to save our work. Make sure java.net dot inet addresses is imported. And we're going to hit play. And as you can see, it just prints out an 11. So that's how long it took to reach the address. Let's put a one in here and see what happens. Well, hey, it did the 69. Because uh, we can't reach the YouTube servers in one millisecond. <laughs> This internet connection isn't good enough. Like, I think you'd have to be in the server to achieve that type of ping. But let's go and do, let's say, 100. But we're going to do it with www. We're going to do four Ws instead of three. And it's minus 69. In fact, we get an error message here. No such host known as www.youtube.com. Because I don't think that exists. Well, in fact, no, Java's telling us it doesn't. Let's just do Google, just to show that this works for more than just YouTube. I hope Google's still up in the future, like, if you're watching this video, then it is. And we get a 10. So, that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Java tutorials. Thanks for being a great audience.